So is he going to be all right then? Yeah, he's going to be fine. I couldn't believe it. I looked up there, he was sitting on the ledge. I thought, he's going to jump. As I said, you did the right thing. <sighs> I, mean, I can't have been the only person who saw him, but I suppose it was the only person who... Yeah. Well, you saved a man's life tonight. He should be very grateful. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't mind me asking. I seen you on telly. <sighs> yeah, probably. That's neither here nor there. Oh. Uh, OK, I understand, sir. Yeah. I'm Rick Spleen. The comedian. Oh, yeah, that's it. I need to keep it yourself, because uh, I don't want the hassle of it being splashed all over the papers. Oh, that won't happen. Mm. All it would take would be a phone call to, say, The Sun or 3AM girls, and they'd probably send you quite a big check for a story like that. I won't even put your name in the report. Well, you probably should do that, just so it's on record that I saved a man's life. <laughs> I just don't want to get in the press. OK. <clears throat> it's uh, spleen. Uh, with, with an N. It's not, not, not spleen. All right. Why would it be spleen? Spleen. Spleen. Rick. Unbelievable. Not a mention of it. Nothing. Are you going to buy all the papers every day? What do you think by now? Maybe when you see what else is going on in the world, it's not such a big story. I saved someone's life and I've been on television. How is that not a big story? I'm just saying it. You know what it is, don't you? It's because it's good news. You're probably right. You know, if I killed someone, you can bet they would have printed that. Oh, yes, they would, but then that would be a big story. Well, you'd think one of the gossip columns would have picked it up. It's but... not really gossip, though, of is it? Of course it is. Just because it's not about sex doesn't mean it's not gossip. But it's not the kind of thing people gossip about. The policeman. What? Oh, nothing. Look, you did a good thing, really. What is it they say about random acts of kindness? <laughs> Hi, Magda. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So, you on paper? Yeah. The Gazette. Ah, local man saved by TV hero. Oh, at least they got their facts right. There you go. Still, you think they make it top story? I mean, is anyone really interested in this bypass business? Well, the people whose homes are being demolished. But why men want to throw himself off bridge? Oh, he's just very unhappy. Many people in my country want to do this because they're so unhappy. We have name for them. Tourists. Still, I think you must be very unhappy to want to kill yourself. Hmm. Interesting theory. Cannot imagine being this unhappy. Yeah. But then, not everyone has your sunny disposition. Yeah. Yeah, see, this was in the paper. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you think I'm gonna go with this bypass? Yeah, yeah, the thing about me saving the man's life. Oh, yeah. Read it. I know what happened. You already told me 20 times. Yeah, you, you might like to see it from their angle. That's, that's embarrassing. Making me out to be some kind of hero. It's so annoying how they get hold of these stories. I cannot imagine where they got it from. Yeah, it's easy for you to be cynical. I looked into that man's eyes. I saw his humanity. You don't know how I feel because you've never saved a man's life. I know. It changes you. It does. It's humbling to realise that people look up to me. Not for being a comedian, I'm used to that, but... Well, yeah, for my compassion. Must be amazing, being you. I'm just saying, an experience like that, it, it changes your life. How? How has it changed your life? Tell me one thing that it's changed. Well, the Gazette have already been in touch. They want me to write a piece saying why I live in the area. That could be taken both ways. No, shops I go to, restaurants I eat at. Which lakes you walk on, where you go to raise the dead, where you get your sandals. I don't see why I should come up with opinions for you. They just want to know where you shop. Yeah, but they want it to be funny. And obviously I can make it funny, but it might be as well to have you to bounce it off. Well done. Sorry? The chap on the bridge. I read about it in the Gazette. Local hero. Oh, that's just one of those things. You did the right thing. He was lucky it was me who saw him. Yes, yes, or anyone. I don't know about that, actually. A couple more minutes and he would have done it. Oh, I don't think so. Excuse me? In the Gazette. Said he'd been there an hour. How does that...? Well, if anyone's really going to do it, they tend to go in the first five minutes. Beyond that, all the other issues start to complicate things, all the doubts and 
fears start to creep in, and before you know it, the resolve is gone. How do you know all that? Oh, just something I read. Anyway, what you writing? Oh, uh, Rick's been asked to do a column in the Gazette, actually, of all of his favorite haunts in the area. You know, where I shop. So I oh, to... say no more. I think I know where this is leading. Oh, well... No, uh... no, no, don't spoil it. I'll wait till I read it. <laughs> I'll just get you a couple of coffees on the house. Not that I'm giving you special treatment. Just all part of the relaxed ambience that customers can expect to enjoy. <laughs> Complimentary coffee. A few tips on how to top yourself. Then what's this good news? Guess what happened this afternoon? You saved someone else's life? No, better than that. Mm, you have to tell me. I stopped off at the shop. I hear someone say, Rick, who do you reckon it was? The man you saved on the bridge. What? No, forget about him. Tony Briggs. Tony Briggs? Head of drama at ITV. Oh, right. I didn't realise he lived around here. Well, he does. Yeah, and he came over and started chatting to me. Had you met him before, then? Yeah, a couple of years ago at that charity thing. Anyway, he'd seen the piece about me in the newspaper, you know, the suicide thing. He still asked me what I was up to at the moment. He said he really liked my stuff. You see? Random acts of kindness. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, one thing led to another, and I invited him and his wife over to dinner this Sunday, if that's OK. Well, yeah. It's quite short notice. Oh, don't worry about that. It's all taken care of. I rang Carlotto's. Where? You know, the Italian restaurant where I took you for your birthday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where your credit card didn't work. Yeah, I, 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 I'm aware I still owe you for that one. Anyway, they're going to make something. I'm going to pick it up, get some really nice wine. It'll be great. OK. Yeah. So, what's he like? Tony is a really nice guy, yeah. They're a lovely couple. You've met his wife, then? No, but she's bound to be nice. He's head of drama at ITV. This puts me in a different league. He's just coming for dinner. Yeah, but what you're missing here is I said I had a project I wanted to talk about, and he said, fine, let's talk. <laughs> OK, good. I'm pleased for mm. you. And have you? What? Got a project that you want to talk about? Well, no. But I will by Sunday. for the Gazette? Yep. Read what I put about Michael's cafe. <sighs> Great food and a welcoming atmosphere. What do people see this and go there? You could be sued. Ah, oh, you gotta share your success, Marty. Guess who I bumped into yesterday after you left? Guess. The guy who tried to kill himself? No, God, why does everyone keep banging on about him? I bumped into Tony Briggs. Who? You don't know who Tony Briggs is? How do you expect to get on in this business if you don't mix with these people? He's the head of drama at ITV. Anyway, we started talking and I said I had a project he might be interested in and uh, <laughs> he's coming over for dinner. You invited him to dinner? Yeah, why not? You don't even know him. Oh, dear. Yeah. A little bit of jealousy, I think. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying I thought you had a bit more class than to go ass kissing some suit. This isn't ass kissing. This is building a rapport with someone who is interested in my work. Sure. So what's this project? I don't know, anything. It's ITV. But like what? Uh, a cop show. A cop show? Yeah, but with a twist. They all have a twist. They've done every twist there is. A cop show without a twist is the only twist left. Well, if you've got a better idea, then let's talk about it. Maybe over dinner. Oh, hi, it's Clive. From across the way, I'm Doris's son. Yeah, I remember. Sorry to bother you, but, uh, actually, I'm going to gather a petition to send to the council. OK, right, thanks. Sorry, c can I just tell you a little bit about it? Yes, OK. It's the alleyway at the back of my mum's house. We've had an increasing number of incidents involving vandalism, graffiti... Oh, dear. ..youths gathering, shouting, swearing, you know, that oh. sort of thing. I, I mean, last week, she had an old car tire thrown over Did her Did she? Yeah, she was pretty upset about it, as you can imagine. So I thought... Something has to be done. 
Well, to be honest, it is pretty dark down there. I'm afraid that kind of thing is going to happen. It's actually why we bought on this side of the street. Well, she's lived there for 50 years. Still. Anyway, if you wouldn't mind signing it and sending it in, it'd be much appreciated. Yeah. OK. How are things with you, then? Keeping you busy, are they? Yes, fine. Keep expecting to see you on that ballroom dancing show. Yeah, I don't actually do that kind of thing. I've actually got a major ITV drama series coming up. Oh, what's that called, then? That's something I can't tell you just yet, but, uh, look, I, I, I better go. Don't forget to tell us when it's on. That's his twist. He's a cop with a passion for ballroom dancing. Nobody's ever done that. Oh, do shut up. Why did you tell Sam that she could go out on Sunday night? Is that what she said? Yeah. Incredible. Well, did you? Yeah, but it didn't happen exactly like that. She put your foot down. What is this? Indications of jazz. I like a bit of jazz. Maybe play it when Tony Briggs is here. Yeah, might do. Cigars as well. Yeah, well, I, I thought me and Tony might want to have a cigar afterwards. You hate cigars. Last one you had was that New Year's Eve. You ended up projectile vomiting into my parents' hedge. Well, obviously, I know not to inhale now. There are some missing. Have you been practising? No, I just took a few hours. I didn't want it to look like I went out specially. Mm. Um, what if Tony doesn't like cigars? Well, that's even better. I can just put them back and, and get a refund. You really are taking this seriously, aren't you? Well, yes. I mean, you're in the business. You know how it works. This is how deals are done. The conversation comes around to my career, you know. Really love that last series, Rick. Can't understand why it was taken off after four episodes. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange decision. Well, we've been watching you at ITV, and we think you're ready for something big. Would you like to come outside and throw up into a hedge? <laughs> Okay, two hours at 180, and then turn it down a bit for the last half hour. That's great. I'll, I'll be along this afternoon to pick it up. Yeah. No, there won't be a problem with that. All, all right, I'll pay cash then. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see you later. What are you doing here? It's a Sunday. Uh, yes, but I said to Mel I would help tidy up for the friends coming. Oh, thanks. Yeah, actually, not just a friend. It's, uh, it's Tony Briggs. Uh, we're in the same business, and uh, uh, he's also a clown. Comedian. Uh, no, he's more on the drama side of things. Yes. He's head of drama at ITV. He's a very important man. It is coming here. Yes. Yes. What is that? It's a traditional dish from my country that I make for you to have with the friends. Oh, that's, that's very kind. It, it, actually, it's all taken care of. Just I put think. in the oven. No, what I mean is... It's uh, made with potato. Yeah, I dare say... At holidays at home, we have this with boiled fish. Sounds fun. Well, thanks. I'll... I'll, I'll put it in the fridge and... Uh... Just one hour in the oven. Yeah, OK, fine. So now I must get on with hoovering, or, or I will still be here when man comes. And we don't want that, do we? Yeah, OK. Uh, ha have a nice time. Thanks. Uh, you gonna... Um... Oh, yeah, I was gonna give you some money. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. It smells nice. Mm, yeah, what is it, Dad? It smells like no, lasagna. No, don't, don't do that. It is lasagna. Ben, leave it. Some sort of meat. You'll ruin it. Just try a little... Ben! Sorry. It's cool. Uh, what did we say, 50? Yeah. I've only got 20, so have you got any change? Uh, no, afraid not. Well, uh, take that anyway. Brilliant, thank and, you. Um, yeah, off you go then. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Um, um, Mum's saying I have to be back by 11, cos the exam's tomorrow. Uh, well, I know she's fine. Really? Yeah. Great, ah. thanks. Wow, that's it. Big go, don't want to miss the bus. Uh, we're not going to get the bus. No. You'd big go anyway, in case something else happens. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to meet up outside the work context, get away from all the craziness. You look nice. So do you. It's a nice shirt. I haven't seen that before. Not too nice, is it? Doesn't look like I'm trying too hard. No, you're fine. This looks good. I'll start with a starter. It's vintage. It's cost a fortune. Okay, well, if I'm not good enough, am I allowed some white wine? Then? Sure, yeah, that's what I fancy. Seven thirty. What time did you say to them? Seven thirty. But he won't be bang on. I mean, it's a bit naff to be on time. It's not naff. I Jeez. think it's polite. Otherwise, I suppose it, I suppose it is polite. Yeah. No, no, no. You stay here. What? We don't want to look like a welcoming committee. This is something we do all the time. Hmm? Act normal. I am acting normal. Tony. Rick. Charming. Glad you can make oh, it. I've been looking forward to it. Oh, we've got a lot to talk about. Rick, this is Cheryl. Cheryl, meet the man himself. Uh, Rick Spleen. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Very kind of you to invite us. Oh, not at all. Very kind of you to come. <laughs> yeah. Come on through. Let me get you a drink. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to meet up outside of the work context, get away from all the craziness. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Got to find time to socialise, busy people like us. He's rushed off his feet. I hardly see him. Well, that's what Mel says about me. Oh, you're always working, always coming up with ideas. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> where is Mel? Mel? Come and say hello. Come on. Tony, what can I get you? Gin and tonic, glass of wine? Could murder a beer. Yeah, I fancy a beer. <laughs> what would you like? Oh, I'm driving. Could I just have an orange juice with a splash of lemonade? Hell, this is Tony. Long time. <laughs> Hello, Tony. I see you two have met. <laughs> Funny man, your husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can do serious as well. I'll go and get those drinks. Now, this is Cheryl. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Sorry, is everything. He's great, isn't he? What an interesting bloke. I didn't know you knew him. You kept that quiet. Of course I know him. Why, why didn't you tell me? It's even better. Because that is not Tony Briggs. That is Tony Welland. Tony the Builder? Who did our roof four years ago? It can't be. It is. But he said he liked my stuff. Yes, but that doesn't stop him being Tony the Builder. <laughs> you idiot. Well, you better get in the drinks. It's so much warmer upstairs. Right, here we go. Thanks, Rick. Lovely. To me. Cheers, mate. Sorry, I just uh, didn't get to that. Oh, I was enjoying that. Switch it back on. Really? No. Okay. Who is this? Oh, it's just some jazz. Very nice, isn't it? We must buy some jazz. We don't really listen to it, do we, Tony? No, no. I'm afraid I'm a Radio One man myself, you know, especially when I'm working. Mm. On the building sites. Yeah. Whenever I drop in on tone, they've always got the radio blaring away. I don't know how they hear themselves think. Shouldn't imagine that's so much. Rick, of um, you can stand there all night, come and join us. <sighs> oh, I'll tell you what I left in the car. The wine. I left the wine. Nice. I am. I gave him a drink. Be nicer. You are such a snob. Oh, what's he doing here? You invited him. He's got a bloody nerve. It's not his fault. Why couldn't he just come out and admit that he's a builder? Well, what the hell is he supposed to say? Yes, we'd love to come to dinner. By the way, you do realise I'm not the head of drama at ITV. Oh, no, it just makes you sick. The only reason he's come round here is to get some work from me. What are you doing? 
I might as well stick this in the microwave and give it to them. Is it? Good question. Magdalene it. You're not giving them that. Why not? They'd probably like it. It looks like someone's coming out of all this bucket. Look who I found trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> A humble offering. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Come on through. I'll open it whenever the start is. Oh, it's, uh, it might need chilling, actually. Oh, feels about right to me. Uh, where's the champagne? Champagne? Oh. oh. I think it might be. Shall we sit down? Yeah. yeah. Something's gone to a lot of trouble. Yep. Yeah. I'd have to say Handyman Harrison. No, you work with Handyman Harrison. Yeah. <gasps> I love that program. <gasps> have you met him, Rick? Yeah, several times. He's a really sweet man. And do you know Stella Durrell as well? It, she was one of my first clients, actually. I thought she was great in that fat club thing. Didn't lose any weight there, did she? Would you ever go on something like that, Rick? Not that you need to, obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, though, saving that man off that bridge? Mm. You're quite famous in the area now. Would well, anyone like a coffee? Not for me, thanks. No, I'm fine now. Well, I must say... I love a cup of tea, though. Great. Tony. Well, if you're putting on the kettle, I'll go coffee. I'll tell you what, Rick. Couldn't help noticing that you are a cigar man. Oh, uh, not really. That rather fine-looking box of Havanas in the lab. Yeah, they belong to... Uh... Get them. Thanks, Mel. Oh, she's lovely, Mel, isn't she? Yeah. God bless you, sir. Cyril, brandy, malt? Oh, go on. <laughs> Which? Brandy or malt? You choose. There you go. I'm just going to get up an ashtray. Ooh, you do know your cigars. Now... You, uh, you are going to join me, aren't you, Rick? Yes, yeah, you can go ahead. Now that is a long, slow smoke. Oh, you can always finish it on the way home. <laughs> 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 You are a funny man. <laughs> Is he always like this? More often than not. Now, <laughs> uh, down to business. What's this uh, project that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, that. No, I was just uh, thinking of asking you to put up some shelves, but I'll probably do it myself. Mel, you should get handyman Harrison to do it. <laughs> 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 No, uh, come on, Rick. You didn't go to all this trouble just to talk to me about putting up some shelves. No, you're right. I didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're laughing. No, I was just thinking, if someone asks how was your evening, you can say it was very constructive. Hmm? Yeah, very funny. I mean, why do you have to say we want to do conservatory? Because I do. I've always wanted to conservatory. You know, you know he thinks you're serious. I am. Anyway, I was just helping you out. Yeah, I didn't need any help. You were floundering. No, I wasn't. Yes, floundering. When he asked about your project, you didn't know what to say, so I helped you. No, I mean, grand, he said. Because for some reason, you didn't want to talk about your cop show. Oh, it wasn't just a cop show. Oh, my God. What am I going to do with this? Eat it. Oh, God, you are pissed. Put it in the bin, wash it up and say it was lovely. I can't put it in the bin. Magda will see it. If she didn't see that, she'll see the dead rats lying around it. Well, we'll just have to eat it, then. That's nah, OK. I'll deal with it.
So how was evening? Oh, it's very it was interesting. It's nice. And how was food? Yeah, I was going to say the potato thing. It was delicious. Mmm. Thank you. Everyone loved it. We'll make for you again. Well, like you say, it's for special occasions. Should really stay that way. Thing is, you know that uh, that dish it came in. Yes. Quite funny, really, because was that made in your country or, or over here? I don't know. I buy it here. Yeah, it could have been an import. No, because the thing is, um, I put it in the dishwasher and um, it broke. Where's the other half? I will mend. Well, you know what? That's what's really weird. The other half just, just shattered into tiny pieces. It's quite dangerous, really. Well, obviously, I'll replace it, you know, buy a proper one that doesn't break so easily. start, I might as well tell you the truth. Tony Briggs had to cancel, so we invited someone else. Oh, OK. Seen the Gazette? Oh, they've printed my column. Over there. That's good. Michael will be pleased. I think they might sit on that for a couple of weeks. It's more about the suicide thing. <laughs> Still going on about that, are they? Yeah. Rick Spleen did this, Rick Spleen did that. Mind you, I suppose it was pretty amazing. More about the guy you saved. Really? God, he's getting more out of this than I am. Wouldn't say that exactly. Oh, great. The guy was a paedophile. Just my bloody luck. I knew there was something dodgy about it. I could see it in his eyes. Why'd you save him, then? Well, what am I supposed to do? Interview him? God, it makes you sick. You do a good deed. Now, because of him and what he's done, I've been made to look bad. He should be ashamed of himself. He was trying to commit suicide. Well, I wish he bloody had done. Honestly, that's the last time I try and help anyone. Why can't they wear badges or something? It's Rick in. Oh, hi, Rick. Sorry to bother you again. Yeah, it's not a good time, actually. Did you uh, get a chance to look at that petition? Yes, I did. It's all sent off. Oh, thanks ever so much. Only things have taken a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. Oh, really? Yeah. Look. Oh, no. I know. Thrown over the garden wall last night. I found it there this morning. Lying in what I can only describe as a pile of congealed vomit. It won't be that. I'm sure it's probably something quite nice. 